is okay. All right. Uh, I think we're okay on that. Let me put on a little music. If this is too loud, let me know. I just want to have a little background music. There we go. How are you doing, aces? I wasn't even sure if anybody was going to be here, honestly. I was like, oh man, it's like pretty early today. Um, did that post? Did that work? Sorry, I'm, I'm posting, uh... To just notify people I'm streaming, but, uh... There it is. Okay, yeah, that one worked. Okay, what was that? Alright. Hey, Zarek, what's up? <laughs> Hello! Welcome back! How are you? I think I asked how you're doing, Aces, but if I didn't, then how are you as well? Hello, hello. Um... Okay, yeah, if the volume is off at all at any point, uh, just let me know. I, I just don't want it to be too loud or anything. I think, yeah, I can kind of tell it, it should be actually pretty mellow. Um, I just figured we could use a little music in the background while I do this. Um, yeah, and in case you didn't see my message, um, I, I haven't streamed, actually, for a couple reasons. Um, so yeah, I guess before we... We do this. Um, I uh, I'll just explain real quick. Um, the uh, my internet. <laughs> oh, you are too much. You are too much. Dang, dang. <laughs> that is too kind. Thank you. I... Thanks, Aces. Um, yo, Greywalker, what's up? Welcome back. <laughs> I'm really happy to be streaming and, and see you guys coming on. It's good to see you guys. Um, I, uh, I missed you guys. I really did. I really missed you guys. Um, I don't know. I, I just, um, I wanted to be on and streaming, but I, uh, thanks, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> I, I've just been having some some uh, difficulties. Like I, like you know, I have sleep problems, so that's like the first thing. It's just like ugh. And then uh, on top of that, uh, my stomach has been a little problematic for me, uh, and so uh, I was given some medication by the doctor to take, and it's been uh, it's it's just been kind of messing with me a little bit. I mean, medications, you know, side effects and all that, and so. This stuff seems to kind of make me feel like a little sleepy-ish and kind of like mentally foggy, you know? Um, uh, but um, yeah, I, <laughs> I was just reading because Herpy Derpy was posting in uh, Discord. Um, but yeah, um, uh, <laughs> where was I going with that? I don't know, I, yeah, I just... I felt like, hey, I think I can actually stream, uh, so here I am, yeah. Yo, what's up, Techno? You are streaming at such a convenient time? Oh, nice! Okay, cool, cool, alright, that works out, that works out really good. So early? Yeah, I, dude, it's, it's me, what do you expect? <laughs> I thought, hey, I'm feeling okay, I'm going to stream. If I didn't stream now, there wouldn't be a stream today at all, then. There would not be at all, um, because um, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be going to bed in like a few hours, I think, um, because like I said, my sleep schedule well it's it's starting to at least kind of go back to a more normal time, I think, but like to give you guys an example with like uh, my health being a little like blech, um, and just the medication kind of messing with me. I like I went to bed last night at like um, or yesterday. I mean, it was like three in the afternoon. So an hour from now, I basically went to bed yesterday, and then I slept until about ten. I think I. <laughs> I think I might be talking a little strange too, uh, like. 
<laughs> it's made me crazy. Um, but then I woke up at like 10, and then I, I was up until about 1, and I was like, gosh, I'm so tired. And then I went back to sleep for another like 4 hours or something. So I actually got up at like 6 this morning, which was like actually kind of normal. Um, hey, Lucy. <laughs> What's going on, Lucy? <laughs> How are you today? Good to see you. Um... So yeah, I, I don't even know exactly what's going on. I just, like I said, mostly the, the point is I haven't been feeling very well lately. Um, but I'm not feeling like bad. So don't worry too much, please. Uh, I, I just, you know, um, it's just been a little difficult for me. But uh, I, uh, I'm i going to turn that down just a pinch. Cause I, I just really don't want the music to be too loud for you guys. Um, but anyway, yeah, I felt pretty decent right now and I just thought I really want to stream and also I have some really seemingly I say seemingly because I'm not entirely sure yet but I think I have some really good news um, like for for you guys and for me I think this is a, uh, a win for all of us and that is I think my internet problems might be finally taken care of um, I knew there was something fishy going on. I knew there was an issue that was more than just kind of like a little something something, you know, here and there. Like this was legitimately like a problem. And uh, finally the fourth or fifth technician that came out, I was like, hey, here's what I know. Let me tell you uh, what's going on. And he was actually kind of rude at first to me. Um, he was actually very impolite. And um, I was just like, well, I don't know what this guy's problem because he showed up and he just kind of looked at me and he had this look on his face like, you know, why did you drag me out here? What do you want? You're just another stupid customer that probably has no idea what they're talking about. Um, you know, what do you want from me? And it, it was just very, like, a very hostile almost kind of attitude. And I was like, wow, all right, this guy is, you know, great. You know, it's this is just not good. Uh, especially trying to get this problem fixed, but I thought, well, maybe he's just having a bad day, you know? Maybe he's just having a hard time. Um, so I, I just, I thought, you know, keep my cool, don't don't get upset back at him and stuff, because that's not going to help anything. And uh, so I ended up uh, talking to him a little bit and stuff, and I, I just said to him, I said, uh, um, well, f first of all, I asked him, because the company that he works for, has been bought by another company, and usually that's a bad thing. People get, like, cutbacks on their budget and all this stuff. And, um, so I, I just, I said to him, so, what do you think of, uh, you know, this new company now that owns the place? And he just kind of, like, was, like, quiet and kind of, like, for a, a long moment. And then he was like, well, and I was like, no, nah, that's answer, that's answer enough. I get it. Like uh, your answer is good enough. Like your silence has said more than enough. That answers the question. And he was just kind of like, uh, okay, because um, he knew what I was. I knew. Um, anyway, then I uh, I said to him, you know, uh, um, you seem like you're having kind of a hard day. And uh, uh, he said, um, well. Yeah, I am actually, and uh, then he started telling me more, and I guess he's going through a divorce and a few other things, and so the guy's having a tough, tough time himself, and um, I was just listening and just um, seeing what he had to say and stuff, and then um, uh, the way he, that he carried himself and the, the knowledge that he had, um, I just, I knew that this guy was, had been there a while and was uh, probably a, a pretty knowledgeable technician. So I just said to him, I said, uh, let me take a guess. I bet most of your job is actually spent cleaning up other people's messes. And he just kind of laughed for a second there and he was like, yes, yes it is. And I said, yeah, I, uh, I've been there before. You know, I've, I've been in that position as well. Um, because uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned it before, but I, I've... I've had a lot of different jobs in the past, and um, one of them where it was like that, where I was cleaning up after other people's messes, was um, uh, when I worked for a hotel chain, and I was uh, an IT guy at a hotel chain, and I would work on cable, phone lines, and TV, uh, like, related issues and whatnot, just all kinds of stuff. Anyway, uh... After I started talking to him and stuff, though, then he started really getting nice and listening to me and actually was like, well, because at first I said, 
I think I know what the problem is. Uh, it's it's called the drop, and it's where the cable from your internet from the main line comes in and goes to your house. And I said, I think there's an issue with the drop. I think the DB levels are off, and I think you need to change out uh, the component in the tap, it's called. And so, um, just technical talk there. And he's like, at, when I first said that to him, he was like, no, 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 it's not that, and just kind of dismissing it. And I was like, okay. And then, then though, he was kind of like, all right, well, you know, let's go check it out. And um, he went over and he's like, yeah, your DB levels are off, man. Um, let me see what I can do. So he's working on it. He goes up the ladder. He messes with it because it's, it's way up there. I mean, it's like way up on this line. And then uh, he goes up, messes with it, comes back down. He's like, nah, it's still not good enough, but, you know, let, we got it closer. He goes back up. And then on top of that, so I'm talking to him more about just stuff and whatnot. And then... Uh, he says, uh, you know what, let me go down the street to the node. It's like right right next to you, so that's good. Uh, and I'll check that, and then I'll check some other things too. So th now he's like going down the street and checking out other stuff and whatnot. Um, and really just like going above and beyond. So then he checks that, he comes back, he's then on the other side of the street checking the wire above our house and stuff. Then he's like checking over this, I mean he's checking like everything. And then he comes back and he's like, well... I did find a couple things here and there that were a little off and whatnot. Nothing major, but definitely some stuff that needed adjustments. And, um, so, uh, he, um, uh, he, uh, basically, he, he spent, like, two or three hours here in total. Um, he was busy. He was really, I'm gonna turn that down a little more, because I just, I feel like that might be a touch loud. Um... Anyway, um, so yeah, he, he did a lot, but anyway, I don't know which specific thing he did, but he made it, like, seemingly way better. Uh, we were dropping frames on average about once every, like, let's say minute, and it was bad. Um, I actually left the stream running on my test stream for, uh, 12 hours straight, and it, it did drop some frames, but barely any by comparison. So, the internet connection seems to be way way more solid now. He really did good, it seems. Um, and yeah, he was just, he was really nice. And by the time he was, like, ready to leave, he almost seemed like he didn't want to leave. He was just, like, I think he was just enjoying talking to me and stuff and hanging out. Um, and so, yeah, it was just, it was interesting. It was a very interesting interaction, and um, it was just nice because I mean, all I did was just listen to what he had to say and just ask him a couple questions and, about his life and stuff, and um, well, I learned something about him, and, uh, it was just, you know, I feel bad for the guy to some extent, you know, it's like, sounds like he's having a hard time, and, um, I say to some extent because, you know, I, I don't know all his issues, but the stuff he told me, you know, it's, it's like, sounds like he is having a hard time. Andy turns into therapist for internet guy? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> hey, Lerner, what's up? Welcome back. Grape Juice, welcome back too. How are both of you doing? I want to watch unbox things, but I'm about to go to bed. See you next time. No problem, Grape Juice. I'll save it and then you can watch it later. You take care. What are the D-pad mashing levels? I don't know what that is. I am not sure. Uh, let me move a little bit of this out of the way. Fix his internet with the power of friendship? <laughs> um, sure, sure. Um, I guess. I don't know how else to put it, but yeah. He, um, he was a, a bit of an older fella, so I knew he had probably been in the business for a while. And yeah, he's, uh, he said he was. Because I asked him, I said, how long have you been working here? And he said, it, I think it was like 1989 or something like that, so... He's actually probably seen the company get bought and sold quite a few times. But, um, yeah, it was, like I said, it was just very interesting because he was very hostile at first. Like, man, he was rude at first. Um, but, like I said, it was, I just thought, oh, hey, here's one of my tests. Um, this is a really great test because I know when I was younger, uh, years ago, if he did that, well, I would have just been rude right back to him. I would have been like, look, dude, you know, blah, 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 blah. I don't need your crap. You know, what the heck, man? Uh, probably just quite rude back and 
knowing that wouldn't have solved any, anything now and whatnot. It's just, I thought, well, whatever. I don't want to, I just don't want to conduct myself that way anymore. I really don't. That's just old school stuff there for me. Um, and I'm really glad I did. I mean, it's, it, it worked out quite nice. Instead, yeah, I, I, I feel like I did make a friend to, like, I mean, as much as that is, like, it's not like, um, he's coming by to hang out or something. Uh, it just was like, at the end there, it was definitely more of a, uh, a positive interaction, and it was really nice, so... Uh, I don't know, it was just, it was a really good experience. Mr. Thomas Arroyo, welcome back. How's it going? Hello, beautiful story. Well, hello to you too, Lurder. I, I missed you, buddy. I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going great for you. All right. Well, well, let's see here. We got uh, we got Japanese newspaper. You know, I love that because then we get to we get to hear the latest from Japan, which is uh, let's see here. Oh, they've got they've got lawnmowers for sale. Look at that. All right. Or well, not no, that's a tractor. Wow, big old tractor for sale. How much is that? It doesn't even say. Let's see. We got a couple of guys here. They're gonna sell you a plaque, a nice plaque. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now the main story, though. Let's see here. What's what's the main story for Japan? The really important stuff. Uh, here we go. Ah, oh, here. This is what I want to know. Uh, yep, yeah. yep. Okay, that's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Godzilla is still, still on the loose, still causing problems. <sighs> He just won't stop. He won't. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm good. The Shadowrun PC games are all on sale today for anyone who's interested. They're fabulous and pretty cheap. Um, you know, Lucy and a couple other people mentioned that, yeah, they're pretty good. So, yeah, you might want to check them out. Um, thanks for the information. And I'm glad you're doing good, Lucy. Did you have a nice time at your grandma's house? Did, did you enjoy yourself? Andy, did you already answer this? If so, I'm sorry, but how long will you be streaming? Oh, I didn't answer that. I'm sorry. No, I didn't answer it. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, pretty much until I don't feel very well again or I'm really tired. Um, that's that's the idea anyway. Yeah, I just, uh, I just thought I feel okay. I don't feel too tired or kind of like uncomfortable. I don't know, I don't know. And I just thought I just want to come and hang out with you guys. I really miss you guys. It's been quite a few days, so I need my I need my 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 friend fix, if you will. Um, oh, Gray Walker! I ordered a, a webcam, another webcam, because I have a position over here. I actually had another webcam, but unfortunately, it's the same type of webcam as this webcam right here. Um, and when you try to use two of the same device uh, for streaming. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and in this case, it was causing problems, so I had to order another webcam, but I didn't forget what you asked me. You said you'd like to see a webcam. I think it was you, Greywalker. You said you'd like to see a webcam of, of the consoles and stuff, and so I'm trying to set up a third view so that you guys can see that as well. Darth Disaster, hello and welcome to the stream. Feel free to chat or lurk. And Monocold Badger, welcome back, Badger. I'm, uh, Badger subscribed? Badger! Wow! I... Badger, I... Thank you so much! I... You don't have You... I mean, you can lurk. You can definitely keep lurking, but... I... You, like, never talk, I think. Like, I don't even know if I've ever seen you talk in here. Thank you so much! I feel like if you have talked, it's not often. Like, I feel like... Oh, hey! Maybe, I, I was gonna say, I feel like you've maybe, if I've seen you talk, it's like barely ever, so I just... Time zones, oh, okay, oh! Well, Badger, thank you so much for the, <laughs> the subscribe, thank you, I, that is just such a compliment, seriously, I, like when you guys do that, it, it just, ah. And it's nice to know that you watch my VODs, because I always kind of question, I'm like, does anybody watch these? And sometimes I'm like, should I even bother highlighting some of this stuff? But that right there alone is like, okay, all right, I have confirmation that somebody is watching them. I will continue to make VODs uh, and, and highlight things and, and, and keep on that. Um, cool. Well, and thank you again. Ah, oh, so, so much. Thank you. 
Um, throw away the rest of the box. You've got what you need. <laughs> um, just almost, almost. We got to get to the, the good stuff down here. Good, I'm at college learning how to make a, a BE game. Oh, a VR. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, that sounds really good. I'm, I'm glad you're uh, getting to learn about making games and stuff. That's definitely cool. Yeah, it was good. We sorted out Christmas plans. She gave me a full bottle of Gordon's Slow Gin. I've never tried it, but I'm going to give it a go. Wow, cool grandma. <laughs> Thanks, grandma. <laughs> That's awesome, Lucy. I'm very happy to hear that. Excellent. Uh, oh, it makes me so happy when you guys are doing good. Wait, you did a 25 sub? I don't even have icons made for a 25 sub. <laughs> I don't even have... I gotta guess, I guess deal with that. <laughs> wow, I... How do you guys know it was a 25-er? I, I just... Oh, wait. No, I still don't know how. I thought I saw something indicating that. No. I have no idea how you guys know these things. Everybody always knows things before I do. I even comment on your YouTube videos. Yes, you do, and I sometimes don't comment back because I don't know what to say. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, oh, that's just techno being techno, and I just leave it at that. Foxy Boy Net, hello and welcome to the stream. Feel free to chat or lurk. Yeah, I actually like getting Japanese newspaper because then uh, I, I feel like I can try to read it later. Even though most of it I can't read right now, some of it I can at least kind of comprehend. Like, if it's if it's simple stuff, like right here, uh, that right there, that that's in Katakana, so I can read that. That says Tolakta, so it's, a, it's about a tractor. Um, but that's... Um, I, I might be able to pick out a couple more pieces of that, but... Uh, yeah, it just depends. Totally depends. Andy, if you stream for roughly four hours, you will be streaming on my birthday. Well, Greywalker, I'll tell you what, um, if I'm not, which I kind of feel like I might not be, but we'll see. Uh, if I'm not, though, uh, I'll try to stream uh, within that 24-hour span and, and make it to your birthday there. But uh, um, if, I, if, I don't, if I don't get it, uh, then I, I got to say, uh, happy birthday, Greywalker. Um, indeed. How old are you going to be? Seriously, happy birthday, man. I love you, buddy. I don't sub for the icons, dude. I sub for how much I enjoy it. Well, hey. Okay. Dang, dude. Thank you. Um, very much. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate that. That is... That means a lot to me. Thank you. It just says it? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess it... Uh, for my thing, it doesn't... I guess on Twitch chat it says it, but in the actual IRC client that I use, it doesn't say that. It says they subscribed on the little viewer thing, because my, my notification, but it doesn't say it in chat. Okay, cool. Um, well, um, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's, sorry, I don't know what else to say. I, I just, I am very thankful, though. Thank you again. And I, I'm also thankful that you told me that you watched the VODs. Um, that's... I, I just, yeah, it's it's good to know that people do. Andy, you should be able to read Japanese newspapers faster than English ones if you are into speedrunning. Uh, I don't I don't think I could do that yet, honestly. But one day, maybe. One day. I'm going to be heading to a lot of car boot sales after Christmas, in particular retro titles. Games I should be looking out for. Oh, any you should be looking out for? Um... All of them, honestly. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're trying to like make some money for yourself or something, uh, a lot of retro games can be one way or another. Especially in your area, Lucy. Uh, I heard retro games in your area are worth more because they're more rare. I guess I don't know how much more, but yeah. But I mean, any basically any old school cartridge based video games um, are are generally especially in the uk area and stuff worth more because they're just rarer so yeah lucy i'd say keep an eye for anything uh and then if you just tell me what you got i could just say oh you got this and this and stuff and uh yeah and then you can try to sell them make a little money for yourself turning 25 okay cool cool all right well 
Grey Walker, I really hope you enjoy your birthday. You have a great time and lots of awesomeness. Try not to party too hard, though, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I wish you a lot of fun. So, Andy, do you like retro games or retro style games? Uh, I'm guessing you mean, like, will I play a game that's new, but it's themed retro? Like, um, I don't know, like... I guess kind of like Hotline Miami, or uh, I can't think of the name of that one game. 20XX? Although, I, I don't know if that's too retro. I don't know, that, that game is like Mega Man, but... Oh, uh, it really depends, but usually... Oh, Shovel Knight, yeah, there you go, Shovel Knight. Um, yeah, I would say... It's... It, generally, yes, generally, but... I've seen a couple that I thought... Eh, they they were like so so like there there are some retro theme games that uh, didn't click with for me, so it still depends on the type and whatnot for sure. Um, it just really depends. Mega Man Nine. Um, Mega Man Nine. I th I think isn't that only on like Virtual Console and stuff? And actually, Mega Man Nine is is like pretty much one of the few Mega Mans I don't actually have now. Hollow Knight. Yeah, Hollow Knight is great, too. Um, how do I get this? I gotta be careful with this, because this is actually... Yeah, there we go. I've heard of Mighty Number no. 9, but I don't know what that is. Streets of Rage? Yo, Streets of Rage is pretty solid. That's that's a fun game. It's really tough. I've never actually beaten it, though. I've only played it, uh, from, like, a couple times, and that was as an adult. Actually, I played it once as a kid, but I was at a, a friend's house. And so I didn't really get to play it for very long. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's some good games there. I Actually, in terms of Mega Mans, you're better off not knowing Mighty Number no. 9. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take your word for it then. Um, basically, in terms of the Mega Mans, I have... Uh, currently, we've got Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then Mega Man X1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so we have a lot of Mega Mans in the future that we're going to be able to play and whatnot. Uh, and I was thinking when I do Mega Man X on Super Nintendo and Mega Man 7, that that's when I'll play the other Mega Man games too. Any of you do know what's in this mystery box? Uh, I do know what's in this now. I've, I can see well enough to see what it is. Um, yeah, I, I, everything, like is is uh i mean well i don't know what's in these the rest of these right here yet until i open them but i do know what this is so this is right here this is um i believe this is pronounced uh oh here well i can just read it off here umihala kawase um some of you actually might know this game um this this game is actually kind of becoming a little popular lately and it's a very unique Japanese exclusive game. It's about, I believe, a little... Uh, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I don't know much about it. I just know that you play... Like, I've, I've played it before, actually, for, like, just a minute. Like, literally, like, a minute to be like, oh, okay. Um, but it's just very in interesting mechanically because you have this, like, kind of like a, uh, a grappling hook ability... And you shoot the grappling hook off, and then you kind of bounce around the level and get to different places using this grappling hook. And it's kind of tricky to use. And it's just become very popular these days. And so this was one of the titles that I was like, yo, this is actually going to be in the marathon coming up. So if you want to see it speedrun, um, it's going to be probably shown in like the next, I don't know, month and a half or whatever the date is. It's a 100% a rope game? Yeah, okay. All right. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I don't know how much I would enjoy it, um, but because, you know, I'm trying to get a lot of these games, um, I just, because it's at the marathon, I, I was like, yo, I need to get this before the price shoots way up, because it's, it's probably going to. The marathon does that to a lot of games. It's too bad Streets of Rage is on Genesis? Um, why is that too bad? Um... I'd love to see you trying to beat Streets of Rage 2. Um, I have Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3, so at some point you're going to see me trying to beat them all, because why not? Um, but I want to start in order, 
and Streets of Rage 1 is really tough. I got to close to the end of the game, but I just I didn't have enough lives to make it through. That game is really pretty mean. Hey Andy, just wanted to stop in quick and say hello. Um, I'm working, so I can't stay long. Maybe I'll catch you later if you have a lengthy stream. I hope you're doing well. Yo, Kerbo, thank you. Thank you very much. I am doing a little better at the moment. Thank you very, very much. Um, you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of uh, your time at work. And um, thank you again for just dropping in real quick and, and uh, wishing me well. I really appreciate that. I wish you well, too. I do. Thank you, Kerbo. So the class uh, that I'm taking at high school, making 64-bit style fighter game? Yo, you should. That sounds cool. I saw Absinerdy play this game in his SNES Mania. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, uh... Oh, the music is kind of loud. Let me turn it down a little. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. Some of them get a little loud. Um, so thank you for telling me. Um, but yeah, I've, I, like I said, I've only played it for like a minute. And, uh, yeah. You aren't obligated to do so via the marathon. Oh, yeah. Well, what I'm planning on doing is kind of, uh, <laughs> Techno's jamming out. What I'm planning on doing is, uh, down, like, you know how I'm playing a lot of sports games? Because I want to get those out of the way. I was thinking, uh, also I could just fit in, uh, when I take breaks from the sports games, I'll just fit in, uh, some other games as well. Not just on Super Nintendo, but, like, um, on Sega CD, I want to play some of those, uh, and whatnot. So, some of you also may have heard of this game. This game is called Magical Poppin'. Um, kind of a interesting name, but that's what it says. Magical Poppin'. Um, and so, this is also going to be at the marathon. And again, I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, uh, before this goes way up in price already more than it is, uh, got to get this one out of the way. Um, so these two games I actually paid for with my own money because um, um, uh, Like I said, I just we didn't actually vote for these um, And I just I had a little extra money. So I was like, all right, let me, let me take care of these and uh, I actually get I actually managed to get the manual for this game as well for a really good price um, If I remember correctly that one's a generic platformer, uh, I don't know much about it I do not know much about it, yeah. I just, um, I know that it, like I said, it's gonna be at the marathon, and it's already fairly expensive, um, and I just thought better to just get it out of the way now. Um, anyway, let us continue. Um, so this is cool though, I'm looking, and, and whoever wrapped these did a good job. It's actually got a full layer of plastic around it to protect it, and it looks like it's in really good shape, so I'm really happy about that, yeah. That's in really good shape. Excellent. They both seem to be kind of a... I, I gotta be honest. Uh, Umihara Kawase. It's kind of a boring cover. I mean, it's it's just very plain. It'd be nice if they had like a little picture of the character there or something, but... Eh. If I shake my phone, Twitch changes from a light to a dark mode? Oh, I did not know that. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. So, um, let's see what else we got here. Careful. Okay. Alright. Okie doke. This side, uh, just gotta be careful here. Sometimes they seal these boxes uh, pretty firmly, and you just gotta be careful. And a little awkwardly too, when they put the uh, customs uh, forms right on top of it. Um, yeah, this is kind of strange. Just wanna be real careful not to accidentally do anything. There we go. But the expense of chat clearing. Oh, okay. Huh. All right. What do we have here now? These. Oh, where's Frost Shocker? 
Where is Frost Shocker? He's he would want to see this. Oh boy! All right. <laughs> oh, it's from uh, these guys. They oh, oh I gotta show you guys this. Okay. Um, I wonder if they gave me three or just one. So there's a particular seller. Um, I think they just gave me one. Yeah. Uh, every time. Um, I have, uh... So do you order these as mystery packages, or are these gifts? Um... I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, Lucy. So I'll just, I'll just tell you what I know, and then maybe that'll answer the question for you. Um, basically, uh, sometimes you might have seen it, I'll just say, let's go game shopping on, on, uh, on stream, and we'll go shopping for games. Uh, and I just, I'm spending basically donation money, um, on games for the, for the SNES Mania challenge. Um, and then we just kind of vote on which games I should buy. We just, we go looking and then we put up a poll and then, um, we vote on which ones I should get. And then we go from there. Um, so I have an idea of what is coming. Um, but what's actually in the box? No, I'm just kind of like, what's it going to be? And like, so right here, I didn't know what I was actually pulling out of this box, but now that I see it, I'm like, oh, okay, I remember ordering this. My Switch arrived, but I haven't played it yet. I became addicted to Terraria again. Yo, that's kind of funny. I was actually thinking about starting a Terraria server just recently. I was really thinking about it. Terraria is awesome, and I haven't played it in like two years or something. Um, exactly, yes. No, I'm sorry, Techno. I haven't even touched Demon's Crest yet. Not even touched it yet. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, this one particular seller... Um, it's kind of cool. Every time you purchase from them, they give you a card. Um, they just, I, they always give me the, a card to like, I don't know, it's its some kind of card game in Japan. Um, and so each one is, it's kind of like magic or something. And so uh, each one is a little different from each other. This one is pretty damaged. Um, they didn't send it like that. That's my fault because um, as kind of a nice little way to just occupy myself. Uh, I like to take the card and flip it like this, and this, and like this. Uh, a little bit of hand exercise and just something to do with my hands. I guess you could say it's my version of a fidget spinner or something like that. And I've done it so much that I've actually worn uh, a great deal of this area out, and then on this side too. It's, it's not supposed to look like this, it's supposed to look like this. Um, but, you know, it's nice. So this is my card that I do that with, and all the corners you can see are worn down, whereas this is like a nice new one, so the corners are still very good. Anyway, though, each time that I've bought, just coincidentally from this these guys, they always include a card, and it's it's just kind of cool. And I always know that it's, it's them that I bought from because it comes with a card, and it must be them because there's a card in one of these. So uh, we'll start with this one, but um, you guys may remember that we voted for Shin Megami Tensei, I believe is how to say it, and um, there were three of the games there for uh, $54, I think it was. Three, three games complete in box for $54. Um, and I was just like, wow, that's, that's a pretty good deal. Um, and we voted, and it, the, voted, the voting passed for us to get it. But I actually did not get that particular uh, sale because I just... Uh, Frost was like, did you grab it yet? Because it's, you know, it might be gone soon. And I was like, I just feel like I could do better. I feel like I could save us some money if I just take a little time on it. And I'm really glad I did because about three days later, uh, I was able to actually get all three, same thing, um, in pretty much the same condition for $41. So um, I was pretty happy with that. So more than $10 saved. I guess that would be $13. Um and we got the little card, so that's cool. Uh, oh, the, look, what, what, do we, what do we have here? It's like a city. Oh. It's kind of cool. Oh. Just add it to the collection. Um, I think this song might be a little quiet. There we go. Isn't that Command and Conquer? 
I think it's Command and Conquer. It just sounds so quiet, but that's okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, here is uh, Shin Megami Tensei, I believe, and then it's called If, uh, which I don't know why they call it If. Battle Spirit cards? Uh, I think they are, actually. I think that's exactly what it says. Yeah, Battle Spirits. That's it. It says it right on there, Techno. Nicely done. I don't know if you can see that too well. BS, and then underneath it says Battle Spirits right there. Yeah, there you go. Yep, you got it, dude. There's the card we got. I'm trying to get the light on it. Just yeah. Cool. Um, so I actually don't know very much about these games at all. Um, I just know that they're pretty popular and regarded as being quite good. Um, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested though in part of the challenge. I mean, that's, that's what we're going to be working on is just learning about new games and discovering what's out there. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, Disneyland? Welcome back, Disneyland. How's it going for you? Jinka Mororo, I think you've been here before, so welcome back. If I'm wrong, well then hello and welcome to you. Alright, so um, if, if, if there's anything you guys want to see, like if I don't hold it well enough um, in the camera and you're like, wait, I want to see more or something like that or you have a question, just just let me know. Um, otherwise though, like I don't know if you can see, this looks really cool though. It's like a floating bunch of different island thingies. I guess like one has like a building on it and there's another building and I don't even know what that is and a big tree or something. I don't know. Pretty intriguing though. And then this girl here I think she's got some kind of robotic thingy on her arm and apparently he does too. Man, this looks like interesting. Yeah. I, th I think this is really going to be something. Honestly. I just have to be very careful where I place everything. Because uh, I just don't want to accidentally damage anything at all. I am, I am like, I, I think most of you know, I try to be extremely careful with everything uh, that I, I have. Um, yeah. This manual, the corners are bent a little bit, but that can easily be fixed by just kind of doing this. You can just kind of re-warp it back down a little by just bending it not a big deal but uh it looks like it's in pretty good shape otherwise good size manual too there's there's a lot of uh, information here this is like a thicker actually manual compared to other super famicom games yeah not a very popular game in north america oh okay uh let's see here the cartridge uh, looks like it had something on it at one point but i, I can probably clean that off it's got a good weight to it too, so I would imagine that's that this actually is a decent sized board in it, and it's got a save feature. I can't imagine it doesn't by how much this weighs. Where do you mainly go for these? They are in fantastic condition. Um, I uh, I mostly do like eBay. Uh, eBay has been pretty good to me um, for the most part. I've had a couple times where it was a little like hey, but I dealt with it and it was it ended up all right. Um, so yeah, that's, and when I go shopping on there, you can see pictures of the items, so that really helps as well, like when you can see pictures and know what you're getting. That definitely helps a lot. Hey, it's it's just a, a, a touch warm in here, so give me one sec, I'm gonna go uh, just turn the AC up one, one notch, I'll be right back. I always get warmer when I stream because I talk so much and when I talk so much, you know, you're you're creating vibrations in your body which then creates friction which generates heat. So it always uh, ups my body temperature uh, rather quickly when I stream. Um, hidden gems like Darnell, oh geez, <laughs> something, something. Um, Let's see, me, met sami, me met sami. Hello, welcome to the stream. Feel free to chat or lurk. Uh, and yes, that's right. You can see pictures except when they use stock images, which sellers do. Yeah, it kind of it's kind of hit or miss on that. Um, 
But, uh, you know, if, if there's something that I'm curious about, usually I'll ask or whatnot. It's not too big of a deal. Um, just kind of varies. Okay, Lucy. Yeah, that's true too, yeah, yeah. So you, you do have to be careful. You definitely want to be careful, but like I said, I I guess um, I should point out, I've been doing this for years, like years and whatnot. So I know a lot of the signs to look for when it's like something that's like, ooh, that doesn't look right or this or that. Um, so it's, wow. Okay, this box is in really good condition. Man, this is in really, really good condition. Holy cow. I mean, this other box is pretty decent too. Like this, this box here is, is pretty okay, but you can see like a little bit of this right here. So it's, it's not fantastic, but it's, it's good enough for me. Like as for me, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this, but this though, holy crud. Yeah, like this, it's, yeah, exactly. Like this is crazy. Let's see, is that a slot? It came right off. Okay, that's good. Wow. Wow. Man, the cover looks cool too. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Hopefully that shows up okay. It's like, it's got, it looks like the three main characters there and they all look pretty cool. Man. Oh my gosh. There, there's been, you know, I better, wow, I'm going to get kicked off of Twitch for that. Wow. Jeez. I cannot believe the condition this is in. That's impressive. That is really impressive. All right, we gotta very carefully open this. Very carefully. And see, once once I open the box and I take out the manual and the cartridge, I close the box back up, um, and then I'm done with it. Like I I don't I don't open the box anymore because I leave the manual and the cartridge out uh, permanently. So that way I don't ever have to tamper with the, opening the box again. Uh, and then just, I can look at the box, but I don't have to open it. And possibly risk damaging it. The manual's in really good shape too. A little bending on the corner, but otherwise really, really pretty darn nice. Wow. What is the name of the game you are opening? Uh, this is also a Shin Megami Tensei game. Uh, and I think this actually might be the original. Um, I think this is just, there is no, uh, what would that be, a suffix, I guess, after it? Yeah, yeah, this is the original, because this one here, this is the second one, and then that one is called If. So, you are looking at just Shin Megami Tensei. Cool. And then we got the cartridge. Oh, definitely another good good amount of weight to it right here. Excellent condition. Very, very good. Little little bit of, you know, here and there on it, but nothing nothing I can complain about. This is really good. I'm very happy with this. This is why I was really happy I waited and I found this. And they, oh, look at this. They've even got some of the original. I love when it includes this stuff too. So you got the, the little registration card, if I can open it. There we go. So you can just see right here. That's kind of cool. And then just care for your console about plugging it in and stuff like that. Nothing too important, but it's just cool that they have it in there. It makes it feel more complete, you know? It's like, wow, you got everything. Um, okay. Put the, that there. Hopefully. This box is going to be a doozy. Oh my goodness, I already know it. I'm pretty sure I know what's in that box. I'm pretty sure I do. Should I put this over there too? Oh, um... Shin Megami Tensei 1 and 2 are the Dark Souls of JRPGs. Really? Oh, I did not know that. Okay. That's pretty cool. They're brutal. Well then, uh, man, got me more, more uh, interested for sure. Like, that is definitely very intriguing to me. You know how I feel about that stuff.
So, what has happened to the computer mouse? Um, here? This one? Or do you mean this one? I don't know if you can see this one on screen, because I, I got two mice there. I don't know if you mean the first or the second one. The first one? Um, I, I basically uh, made some changes to it. Here, I'll show you in a second. Uh, it looks probably quite ugly. Um, I would imagine it looks very ugly. Uh, you can see from the side here. Um, basically, the mouse normally is is like this. Um, I think you can see that. Basically, the mouse, you know, the black part is is the normal mouse. But there's um, a certain amount of uh, padding that I put here. Uh, this is basically I, I made a bunch of custom cuts out of uh, certain kinds of. Um, uh, foam in order to uh, contour to my hand uh, and that's just because I really wanted it to be ergonomically correct toward to uh, to my hand specifically because uh, some people they do claw grip it's called um, which is kind of like this other people do um, uh, I forget the other grip but it's more where your fingers are extended uh, outwards and I actually alternate between claw and the out outward grip um, and so I, I changed between those. Uh, on top of that, um, uh, I like the extra padding there because um, generally at least every single mouse that I have come across, mechanical or not mechanical, um, when you click down on the clicker, you know how it makes that little click, you know, a little, just a little clicky. Um, it's, sometimes it's kind of loud and excessive and other times, you know, it's, it's mild, but it still has a click. Um, when you uh, when you click your mouse or anything for that matter, uh, depending on the design and how much uh, feedback there is when that click um, returns to its original position, uh, it's it's putting out a certain very small amount of uh, kind of this feedback, if you will, into your finger, um, and I don't like that because. When you are clicking your device, um, like I am, possibly, you know, thousands of times per day um, for many years on end, uh, even though it is ex extremely low amount of uh, feedback going into your finger, every time it happens on a very extremely small level, you you know you can cause damage after a long time. It's just it's like anything else in life. You know, you do it too much. Um, and it'll it'll be hard on you after a while and it can cause issues. However, using this padding here, it really reduces that feedback by a ton, like I mean an absolute ton. So instead of feeling any feedback in my fingers from the click, uh, it's a very soft click and it's it, um, it doesn't have all of that going into uh, my fingers and so um, it's very awkward to use like if, if anybody else because I've had a couple people like try to use my mouse and they're like what is this monstrosity but uh, like I said I designed it specifically for my hand with the shape and everything so when I rest my hand on here it feels like perfect and I move it around and and I, I love it and when I click I don't have any feedback going into my fingers and so it doesn't cause me any issues and stuff like that so it's it's just designed to be very um, very friendly towards long-term usage on my my hands and so I you'll see me do that with certain things and whatnot that was a long explanation but hopefully that made sense offensive blue hello and welcome to you can I call you Vincent um, you can but I might not respond to it because I'll be like who's offensive talking to <laughs> so I don't know how well that'll go over steel sword welcome back steel sword how are you today Decompiler? Uh, I think you've been here before. I don't remember if you're the same because of the 303 on the end. I don't know if that was the same, but I, I think you might be the same one. Uh, so welcome back as well, Decompiler. How's it going for you? It's modded to prevent... Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, like I said, though, it works very well. So, um, you, you can find this foam usually at very common stores like Walmart and, and Walmart-like stores and stuff like that. So, I'm actually using a very... Um, light amount of foam for the first layer. This first layer was more so to give the initial shape and whatnot and have a very soft kind of give to it there. Um, then the foam on top here is a much more firm kind of foam. Uh, I don't know the exact um, 
compression rating, if you will. Um, I just know that it is more firm though, and then I place that on the top layer, and then I cut in the middle here so that I still had access to the wheel, and um, and I also like to keep it very lightweight and whatnot, so that foam works out that way. And then as you can see, I, I went with multiple layers, so there's a first layer, a second layer, a third layer, and a fourth layer, and each layer is just a little bit different from the previous layer because of the shape and, and whatnot, so I wanted it purposely shaped in a certain way. Of course, you know, the way the hand rests on the mouse uh, you want, you know, more height to be kind of in the, uh, the area right below the fingers there if you're doing claw grip, um, which, like I said, I do sometimes. So, um, basically what can happen as well is you can get fatigue in your fingers. Like, if you have a mouse like this, for example, and your, your hand rests on it, you'll, you'll notice this gap here. Look, look, I can take my fingers and put them in this gap here if I'm doing claw grip. And if you're doing this for hours and hours on end... Um, your fingers will feel fatigue, you know, after years of use. I'm talking like this is long term and I, I plan for long term stuff. So you can rest your fingers like this, but that might be a little awkward and whatnot. It's, it's just, it can, it can be troublesome. Whereas with this, because I have this at an upward uh, kind of slope here, um, I can actually go from a rest position to a, uh, um, uh, a usage position if you will like when I'm actually using it without even visually showing it like it looks the same because it's it's right there so you know when other people might rest their hand you can see when they're resting but I rest like this like right now and then if I use it I'm using it right now so it's really nice like that it just makes it a lot easier definitely uh, uh, the way to go so I would I would actually recommend that yeah if, if you have any kind of issues um, with your hands and your mouse and whatnot, and, you're, and if you feel like in your fingers that you're having any kind of soreness on them, um, like, you know, you're like, man, it feels like my fingers are tired, or even like a little bit of pain. If you're feeling any kind of pain in your fingers, uh, and you notice that it's mostly your clicking fingers, then you might actually want to look into doing something like that. It's, it's really, really easy. Um, uh, to, to set up like I was able to do this with um, just like I said materials from very common stores You know, you just you got to look at the shape of your hand though And you got to build it around the shape of your hand and then uh, you take hot glue and then um, You uh, take that hot glue and just attach each piece um, onto the mouse and uh, I would recommend don't use too much hot glue just a very small amount and uh, well not very small just not too much though and then cover all the areas, though. Cover the entirety of the area so that each piece is uh, uh, connecting very firmly and whatnot. Also, uh, it looks like Dark Twinge, he auto-hosted me. Uh, and it looks like there's some people uh, possibly watching. So if you're watching from Dark Twinge's stream, hello and welcome. Feel free to chat or lurk. Uh, some other people, I think, came in as well. Um, Nelk, welcome back, Nelk. Did you get anything on Black Friday? Uh, no. No, I did not. I actually, uh, forgot that Black Friday even, like, was on Friday. Andy, I use arm support. It's really good. I recommend it. I've heard about that. Um, and I might at some point, yeah. Use all the hot glue? Yes. In fact, I think you should eat some of the hot glue, too. Um, I heard it tastes really good, Aces. Um, just, just, right, right in. Just, yeah, that's, I was told that as well. That's the way you do it. So here is uh, Shin Megami Tensei 2. Um, now, this is pretty interesting looking. Um, okay. Little damage right there. Looks like it, it took a hit from something, but that's okay. Like I said, I, I honestly, I'm happy to have the box for a game um, if it's in decent shape. I don't need it to be perfect, and this is, this is quite acceptable. Another very interesting looking... Man, I gotta say, all of the pictures for these games are very, very intriguing. Makes me wonder uh, what is going on in these games. I really look forward to uh, checking them out. Reminds me of... V I know, right? Seriously! It's totally VHS. That's the first thing I thought too. I was like, man, it's like, it's straight up VHS tape. It totally is. Oh, this manual is like brand new. Just about. Jeez, this is the best out of all of them. The corners are perfect. Like, man, the corners are perfect. Wow. 
Yeah, cool. A uh, little, little on that corner, just barely, but yeah, this is, this is really good. And then uh, here we got the cartridge. Oh, we got uh, some goodies in there too. We'll check those out in a second. Okay. Sticker is coming up a little in this corner, but usually if you just take your finger like this and you just kind of like that, it'll go back down. Sure enough, it did. It happens. Yeah, see, that's fine. Usually I would do that with a little cloth or something so I don't touch it with my actual finger oil. Um, another good weight to it, though. Cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, before I forget, um, I, I this is very important to me. Um, let me just... I have a list here, actually. Let me just check my list. All right. Um... Because I, I just, I, I, I want to make these, these games, like I said, these, the games over here that I first opened, I paid for those. That was, that was my own thing. But these Shin, uh, Shin Megami Tensei games, these were actually purchased with donation money. So I got to say thank you to the donators for sure, because without you guys, I wouldn't, wouldn't have gotten these. So thank you. Uh, so VB Devil, Grey Walker, Tinker Toy, Aces, Cremoso Goon, and Herpy Derpy. Thank you all of you for the donations. Really. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, this is awesome. This is just, you know how happy this stuff makes me. So thank you guys. Thank you very, very, very much for the generosity. I just, I, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Um, what is this? This looks to be, this is not a registration card, I don't think. This is more like, Hmm, I actually don't know. I'd have to read it a little more in depth, but I, I think this might be for help. Yeah, they might be talking about... Hmm, yeah, I'll have to look at it later, because yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that's describing. And there's probably a lot of words there that I don't understand, because uh, a lot of the words that I'm learning right now are very uh, geared towards... Um, uh, I'm gonna have to be, get a little more firm with that sticker, I guess. Um, a lot of the words that I'm learning right now are geared towards like conversation kind of stuff rather than like um, technical stuff and whatnot. So um, I figured I should get like stuff where I could communicate on like more of a casual level done first with my learning than um, technical kind of stuff. Alrighty, okay, so this box, um, we're, oh boy, wow, <laughs> alright, this, this is, uh, I'm gonna probably go a little faster on this box, because, uh, this, otherwise we're probably gonna be here all day, because I got a crazy deal on this box here, I, uh, if, if this is what I'm thinking it is, we got, like, we scored really good on this deal, this was like, yes, <laughs> um, I th think, anyway, if it's what I'm thinking of. We'll see. You guys would be quite proud. There we go. Right. This over here for a second. Turn it like that. Okay. You still see, right? Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, boy. See, this is a big box here. <laughs> Much bigger than the other. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's... um. That's, that's quite a few there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. So, we got quite a few in this one. Oh my goodness. Um, where do I begin with this? Alright. Um, let me just move this aside and then we'll pull these out. Ooh. Here we go. Wow, those are heavy. Man. What is in those? Wow. So, we have... Jeez. <laughs> so, we have eight here, um, all in the same purchase. Um, the cool part about this is that 
Um, when I said that I got a really good deal on these, I wasn't kidding. Uh, I got such a good deal on these that the actual cost of shipping was more expensive than the cost of all these games put together. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was pretty sweet. That worked out really well. Um, anyway, so one of the games that we were specifically voting on is in here, so we got it. And we got it in really great shape. A bit more light. Um, it's kind of dark. Good day to you. Glowy, hey Glowy. Welcome back. Um, let me, let me, yeah, I can move the light a little bit. Let me uh, move it just slightly. Ogre battle, yeah! Yeah, dude. <laughs> we got it. Yeah, let me uh, move this off to the side a little more so it's not, like, blinding you guys. There we go. Yeah. I think that's better. Alright. Um, hopefully that's okay. Yeah, I, d I don't have a good setup for showing all this stuff because I don't do it very often. And actually, when I first started doing it, I was like, well, I don't know if they're going to enjoy, like, the unboxing part uh, so much. So I, I don't know if you guys enjoy this too much. Um, so that's why I was like, well, I kind of have, like, a, a half setup here for it. Yo, Moomiao! What's up, Moomiao? Welcome back! Yeah, we got Ogre Battle. This was one of the games that we were voting on to, to get last time, and we got it. Um... It reminds me a lot, I, I don't know if the artists are the same as like Final Fantasy Tactics and stuff, um, but it just reminds me a lot of like Final Fantasy Tactics and some of the art style and whatnot. But uh, I have heard a lot of good things about this game, a lot of good things. I've never played it before, I've only seen pictures, and it always looked cool, but that's it. That's all I know. Hey Berm Dog, what's up dude? Welcome back, man. How's it going for you? All right, we gotta, oh my goodness. Yeah, so basically what happened was, I was only gonna get this, by the way. This was the only game that I was gonna go for because we voted, we were like, hey, Ogre Battle, cool. But then I saw all these other games here for like really uh, a crazy good price, and I was like, yo, dude, uh, I'll just see if I can get them. Um, and sure enough, I did. So basically we got, uh, like I said, all of these games for literally less than the cost that it took to ship them here. Um, so I, you could say I'm quite happy with uh, with that. Man, this game weighs a lot. This game is heavy. This, this must be a big PCB in here. This is no joke. This is like, this game must have a lot of content to it or something because this is, this is heavy, man. <laughs> they aren't messing around and it looks like it's in great shape. Wow, okay. Uh, that might be Densetsu no Oga Battle. Yeah. I think that, so it might be, uh, something like Legend of Ogre Battle. I think. Hmm. The March of the Black Queen. Okay. Man, that's heavy. Cool. Wow. <laughs> yes! Yes, they are in good shape. They are definitely in very good shape. Um, I try not to uh, get any games that aren't at least in pretty decent shape. So as you can see, the box is pretty, pretty nice here. Like this is definitely very, very decent. And the manual as well. I mean, this manual is like almost new. That's why I love, like I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Buying from the Japanese is great because... They take good care of their stuff! Like, it's, it's always in very good shape. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, now, this was not part of the games that we voted for, um, but we actually, it just, like I said, it was such a crazy good deal, couldn't turn it down. Like, for example, this game here. Um, this is actually an RPG, I believe. Um... And it looks pretty interesting. Um, so, got it for a pretty good deal. I'm very happy about it. And uh, the box as well looks pretty good here. Um, yeah. 
I honestly, I do not know anything about this game. Uh, I do not. I just looked it up and I was like, okay, it's it's going for pretty cheap here. It looks like anyway it could, and it did. Um, and it looked like it was in good shape, and I, I knew I needed it for the challenge. This is a, this is part of the challenge that we're going for here, so... Um, I just usually you can save a lot of money if you buy from the same seller on shipping. Uh, that's that's uh, a good indicator as well of just uh, making a good purchase. Is just if you can buy from the same seller, then you'll save a lot on shipping, and, and we did. Was there a similar stigma in Japan that video games were for children? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. This manual is really pretty good shape, though. Wow, a lot of good content here. Oh man, I'm gonna be happy to read through this. Um, but yeah, I, I don't actually know uh, too much about that. Wow, cool looking cartridge actually. I always like it better when there's like a picture, but still looks cool. Yeah. And I always wish uh, that they had end labels. See, in the United States and... Well, I guess only in the United States, I think. You know, we got end labels on our games and they're really nice so you can keep good track of them. But yeah, in the Japanese games and I think PAL as well. There's, there's no end labels, so you, you gotta make your own, which I do. Um, so in case you guys haven't seen, I could show you if you want, um, but I actually have games where I made end labels for them. <laughs> so many games we got, so many games to play through, so many. Alright, let's keep this going here. So, um... This game here, it's called Cardmaster, which has a very different name in, uh, in US. Um, I forget what it's called, but it is actually in the US that it came out as well, because uh, some of these have not. Like, actually, I should point that out, but like the previous game, that did not come out in the US at all, uh, as far as I know, or anywhere else uh, at all, uh, I believe. So, um, let's see here. Ligio... Itsu? Hmm. Oh, Rejoice. Okay. Uh... Alice... Alice... Hmm. Not sure what that means exactly. Something about, I think, the entire world? Something... Hmm. Anyway, um... Yeah, this game looks like another RPG, I think. Um... I can't tell if you can see... The picture there but it's got a really cool look to it some of the graphics and whatnot are very interesting like it looks like it takes place in a little village or something um yeah i don't know could be pretty interesting though but uh yeah so just like i said though pretty good deal on these um like this one here uh i think this game was basically i mean you're talking about like this is crazy by the way it's like you're getting a, a box um, the, the game itself and the manual in usually pretty good shape and I think this one was about five dollars um, just five dollars total like that that includes the shipping cost too by the way I mean how can you beat that um, a whole game that used to go for 60 and now getting it for five I'll take it um, the characters look pretty cool yeah. I love a good manual where it shows the characters in full color and everything. I love a good color manual too. Gotta have it in color. Yeah, this definitely looks like an RPG. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Cool. Uh, and then interesting kind of cover here with the brick and everything. This almost looks like, to me, this cover looks like it belongs like on a game that's like for some kind of I don't know, maybe like a, a basketball game or something like that, because you'll notice the chain is in gold, or I mean, the, the name of the game is in gold, and it's held by a gold chain, and then you got the brick background and graffiti on the wall. It's kind of like, huh, okay, a um, little unusual, but yeah. On every... <laughs> Um, I have yet to see any, yeah, any cartridges from Japan where they wrote their name all over every side. I have seen some where the name is on the back, but not on every side, no. So, yeah, not quite. Not, not quite Darnell, and if, in case any of you are like, what, is, is there something more to this, um, 
this this is what we're talking about. Look at the beauty that is Barbie, owned by Mel Davis Darnell. I mean, this is this is what I'm. This, oh, I mean, this is just gorgeous, if you will. I mean, this is, it's, it's art, you know. This that's what this really is. It's it's art, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's beautiful. Uh, you know, you, you got you got a clear indication of this belongs to Mel Davis Darnell. It is my Barbie game, and and nobody else's. And if you didn't know that, well, then you'll know it because it's on the side, and the other side, and the top, and the back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it belongs to Mel Davis Darnell. <laughs> In case you didn't know, yes, it's just it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. So we, we keep that right here on the desk. It's very special. <laughs> we should vote for a, a cartridge for Andy to write his name on every single face. Oh, Mumia, I don't think I could do that. That's like, to me, that is such blasphemy. I don't, I don't know. It would have to be something like really trashed already, I guess, like that copy of Street Fighter 2 I have, I'd probably do it to that one, because that game is awful condition, like, yeah, it's really bad. I'm running out of room. We just have too much awesome. Okay. So, yeah, this game, um... Or maybe a game you don't like, like Daikatana. Uh, well, it'll be kind of hard to write my name all over Daikatana when I don't actually own a physical copy anymore. I returned it. I, re I literally returned it like two or three days after I had bought it when I was younger. Because I was like, no. No, can't do it. I vote for the unopened Earthbound. Um, Jeez, if I had an, un un an unopened Earthbound, I don't know what I'd do with that. Probably have it like put into like some kind of crazy super containment unit. I gotta be careful, this one's fighting me a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna get Daikatana just so I can write my name on it. No. I don't wanna do anything with Daikatana. Actually speaking of Daikatana, something interesting, uh this is really resisting me on this one. I just don't want to force it. Hang on, I, I gotta actually, like... Let's see here. If I, maybe if I do the back side. I just need a closer look at it. Here we go. Careful, careful, careful! There we go. Okay. All right. Um, I just I don't like to force anything. You know I don't want to I don't want to do any damage. You know me. Now, uh, yeah. What I was gonna say though is this game actually did come out in the U.S. under a completely different name, and this is actually some of you might remember. I was actually talking about how there's like this card game on Super Nintendo. It was probably like a month ago though. Um, this is it though. Um, you, I guess you go into like dungeons and stuff and you use cards to, I guess, kind of execute your battles to some degree. And I guess you can kind of roam around like there's a bit of a map system that you can navigate and whatnot. Um, I do not know if I would like this game, but I, I would have thought that I wouldn't like it initially. I would have thought card game where you play it. It just sounds kind of like not too intriguing to me. But then I played Cultsep Saga. Um, if you've never heard of it, I would suggest maybe checking it out. It's on Xbox 360. I think only, actually. I think it only is on Xbox 360. But yeah, it's called Cold C-U-L-D-C-E-P-T. Cultsep Saga. And it was way better than I expected. Honestly, I thought that game was going to be kind of like... Not fun for me and like kind of like meh whatever because i'm just like i said i'm not a huge card game person uh, or just cards in general i guess um but this game was really different and it's really interesting and the same thing happened to my cousin he looked at it uh, well i told him about it and i was just like what do you think of the idea of playing this game you know it's about cards and and, and he was just like 
uh, I don't think I'd like that. And I said, well, I figured you might say that. Let me show you. And then we actually fired it up and played it. He's like, wow, this is really good. Like, it's really good. Um, so yeah, do yourself a favor if you have an Xbox 360 and you think you might want to check it out. Um, I would highly recommend it. It's it's uniquely interesting and fun, very fun. Um, and it's like one of those games where it has a lot of stuff you can unlock in a way that is very rewarding. Uh, as for this game, though, I don't know. It could be good. It could be bad. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm looking forward to finding out. I am. And I like the co the cover though. It's pretty cool looking. It's got a really neat sword there. Um, and he's got his little card there. I guess that's what he he fights with. Now the manual, you'll notice this manual is a little different from the other manuals. Um, it might not be so obvious right away. Hey, my shell, welcome back. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hack Holder, hello, welcome to the stream, Hack Holder. Feel free to chat or lurk. You are too hot to watch. Uh, did something break? Or, uh, I think everything's good. Or does it just look hot in here? <laughs> I don't get it. Or are you just kidding around, Veneras? But welcome back, Veneras. How are you? You were really gonna need to learn your Japanese really well for that one. Um, uh, well, that's, that's my goal anyway. I mean, I gotta go through a lot of RPGs and whatnot, but... Here, take a look here. You'll, you'll notice the manual sizes are quite different. Um, so, width is pretty much the same, but the height. And this this is actually uh, a, a rare occurrence, I guess. Out of all the, uh, the Famicom games that I've gotten now um, with manuals, uh, only, I think, three of them have manuals of this size. So, and that, that includes this one. So, this game, uh, F-Zero and um, Magical Poppin' uh, have manuals this side, so, size. I don't know why they do that. Uh, maybe they just felt they didn't need to use as much space, um, but that's okay. It's just interesting to me. Kind of cool. Too handsome? Oh, Venera's, you're too much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. How are you, Venera's? Welcome back. How the heck are you doing? Michelle, how are you too? It's good to see you too. Miss watching your stream? Yeah, I'm sorry, Michelle. I have been on some crazy sleep hours. It's been very difficult for me. This is a cool looking cover, by the way. Um, but yeah, I've, I've just been like, I've, I've been sleeping strange hours and it's it's been difficult. I, uh, I'm okay. I've just been dealing with that and it's it's been like, ugh. And I just, today I was feeling like I had enough energy. I was feeling like in a good mood and I was like, I got a stream. I want to go on and see my friends. So here we are. All right. So <laughs> let's keep it going. Um, what else we got here? What else do we have here? Uh, this actually was pretty interesting because, um, there, so a lot of you probably have heard of the Ultima games. I'm sure you probably have. Uh, there's actually an Ultima game, at least, I, th I think there's actually maybe a couple on Super Nintendo. Um, so this is Ultima on Super Nintendo here. Uh, this did have a, uh, a US release, I believe. I am almost positive it did. Um, but like I said, we got these for really cheap, and I was like, wow, that's the way to go, because it's much more expensive in the US. Uh, also, I gotta say, the guy's face, I don't know how well you can see it, he's got kind of an awkward look on his face. Like, he's kind of... There you go. Yeah, kind of interesting. And that demon he's killing there is pretty evil looking. Creepy. Give this to your little... Little kid in Japan. Here you go, son. Play this game. <laughs> Holy crap! Um, this one I might have played for like a few moments to check out a long time ago on emulator. It looks kind of familiar, honestly. Yeah, let's 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 open it up and see what we got. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yo, Gades, welcome back, Gades. How's it going? Uh, don't be sorry, I've just missed your positive vibe. You are wonderful. My shell, dang, so kind, so kind. Thank you for the compliment, my shell. I, uh, I missed all of you too, I really did. Like, um, 
I, I know it's only been three days, well, almost three days or something, but uh, I know I've been streaming a lot more regularly lately, and um, I just, between my, my internet connection running horribly, um, which I think we've got that taken care of, I hope, um, and just my sleep issues, like, that's a big thing. Like, guys, you're, you're going to see me around regularly for a while, and then I'm going to disappear again, like, in terms of, like, crappy hours, and... Um, I really appreciate all of you guys being so understanding of that and knowing that I do have sleep issues, so thank you. Um, yes, one must fall. Um, so I really appreciate that, though. And um, yeah, I'm trying to get my schedule back to a more normal time, um, which is coming along, but it kind of depends. We'll, we'll, we'll have to play it by ear to see uh, what happens because I'm still not entirely sure. Um, what, what I mean by that is just I kind of my schedule sometimes just bounces around and there's nothing I can really do about it. There we go. That's a little scary. Okay. But, Michelle, thank you again. That's very, very kind of you. I really appreciate you saying that. Thank you. Um, and, um, I, I gotta say as well, you and so many other people here bring a lot of positive vibes in here as well, which is why I love coming back and just hanging out with all of you guys. You guys are freaking awesome! Friggin' heck! I just, I just love you guys so much. <laughs> you get me so emotional. You just don't know. Hey, wait, is this not in color? I'm about to call shenanigans, Ultima people. <gasps> what? Your manual is not in color. Budget cutbacks. Andy's not happy about that. What? It's not in color. It's not. I, I've never seen. This is my first Super Famicom manual that's not in color. Of course, it comes from a U.S developed game maker people what the heck this came out in 1991 i think it said yeah 1991 so i'm like 30 years something i don't know too late 20 years maybe i don't know but i don't care it's it's, it's like guys come on what the heck you need to reprint this put it in color get to it please hey the box or the i mean the the label looks kind of cool yo nelk welcome back nelk How's it going for you? How the heck are you doing? Wow, that's actually a really cool looking cover. You got the name of the game there. Alute... Alti... Hmm. Ultima. There, Ultima. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Decent weight to it. You can feel the battery in there. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm not putting these back in the bags, all of them, because, uh, actually, I'm, I know I'm going to be taking them out anyway and cleaning them and getting them all ready, doing my thing that I always do. <laughs> oh, my goodness, so many... I feel like such a brat right now, I'm not going to lie. I feel like such a spoiled brat just getting the deal on all these games. I'm very happy, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> All right, what what the heck is this? Otogi li so. Hmm. Otogi wait. Otogi li so. Hmm. What the heck is this? Oh my goodness! These screenshots tell me nothing. What the heck is this game? That's like a fire tree thing, and then we got some flowers and stuff. We we gotta open this up. Sound novel. Wait a minute. This might be some kind of a book game. I see. This is why I'm looking forward to playing through the uh, the Japanese games as well because um, they have very unique stuff that they only released in Japan. Uh, because I feel like they were probably like, well, that probably won't sell too well outside of Japan. Maybe it didn't even sell all that well inside of Japan. But. Um, yeah, this this is it's look at this sound novel. I don't think that this is gonna be like your typical game here. Um and I might have accidentally shot myself in the foot um when I took this whole task of playing through all of the Super Nintendo games, which uh we'll we'll find oh that's kind of a thin manual there. We'll find out. Let's see here. Okay. Got a picture of what looks like maybe a school. Yo Patasha, what's up? Welcome back. How are you, Patasho? How the heck are you doing? Okay. 
this definitely looks like it's just kind of a book that you play. Okay, this is going to be an experience game. Oh wow, there is like nothing... Nothing too tangible going on exactly here. It's, it just looks like a lot of reading. This game is coming last. Very close to last. Wow. Uh, because I need to read very well by the time I get to this, I believe. Interesting though. It's like kind of a game you play through and experience stuff, like the little scenes and whatnot. I don't even know what that's about. Hmm. Interesting though, okay. 1992. Oh, that's kind of a cool looking uh, picture right there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It's very, um, I don't know what the word is, mysterious, I guess? It's just kind of this... Uh, what, what is the word for that color? Or the colors... I guess that would be like a monochrome. Yeah. Very, very mysterious looking mansion sitting in a, in a woods. Very kind of... Creepy inspiring or something. Yeah. I like the way it looks. Makes me wonder what's going on in it. I was trying to cut down a tree with a rusty saw today, so I'm very sore. Yeah, yeah, that, that's not going to usually go very quickly. Rusty saws don't do it too well. Wouldn't even get halfway through? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a pain. Alright, let's see here. We're, we're almost done, you guys. We're almost done, and then we can get to Scooby-Doo. Never, never have I thought in my stream that I'd be like, yo guys, get hyped for Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Orogirisu So seems to be a sound novel. Yeah, Moo Meow, I think it is. That's what it says on the outside anyway, so I, I, th I think it's just kind of, you kind of go through it and maybe make some choices and whatnot. I would imagine it's, it's going to require me to do a lot of reading though, which is, uh, that's good. I just, like I said, I gotta do it towards the end, though, when I feel pretty competent in my abilities, which I do not right now. Ooh, what's this? Okay, we got an RPG here. Let's see, we got... Ga... Oh, no, wait, Ka... Why? This font is crazy, by the way. This is... Whenever they write it crazy, it's really hard. It's like, Ka... Maybe La... Why is it written so cr- I'm, I'm not even gonna try. This, like, that is a crazy font right there. I'm not messing with that. It's gonna say it somewhere else where I can actually read it, probably. Um, I think this picture is pretty cool. Man, they are really good at making their games look very intriguing. Um, I say that because, I mean, look at this. I don't know how well you guys can see this, so I'm gonna try to hold it very still and explain it. This is pretty cool. You basically have in the center what looks like, well, a planet, like Earth. You got a lot of water, uh, you got clouds, um, and you got land mass. And it seems to have an orbiting thing going around it there. I don't know what that is supposed to be. Uh, it seems to have a base that extends out from it. Then you have what almost looks like, I guess this is like the planet is growing out of this material here. And there seems to be some kind of, I guess, subterranean kind of structure, if you will, I guess. Uh, maybe it supplies it with power, and then what looks like could be some sort of uh, antenna work. And the same up here, more antennas sprouting off of the top of it, and out this way, and it just seems to be kind of floating out in space. Um, I do not know, but I would like to know. Uh, very, very intrigued by just the look of that. And the fact that it's an RPG, I bet there's some very interesting things explained in it. Huh. Yeah, that's that's really interesting to me. Let's, let's, wait, let's take another look at the cover itself. I didn't actually take it in. There we go. Okay. So you got a big monster in the background, dude with a sword and a gun. Okay, and lo looks to be some kind of troll-like enemy. So definitely some fantasy elements going on here. That's cool. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, I like this song. This is a good song. This is a really good song. This is actually uh, from Street Fighter 2. This is one of my favorite songs in Street Fighter 2. Well, Super Street Fighter 2. Manual. Good shape. Color. Yeah, there we go. Looks like some of the characters that you come across here. Looks like there might be elves in this game. A little bit of item explanation, I believe. Yeah. Cool. Wow. Very good condition. Let's take a look at the cart. And then we got one more to go after this game. Oh, this is a nice looking cart right here, too. This, uh... Yeah, that's not bad at all. Good condition, and I just, I like the look of it. Yeah. And then we got the extra little stuff down in here. Alright. <laughs> oh my goodness. My, my, uh, I have a, uh, a cabinet which uh, holds all of my games and boxes, and well, the boxes anyway. And uh, I think this is going to fill it up quite a bit. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right. Uh, so this, some of you have definitely, uh, I, I think, been waiting for. There was, so there was voting to get this. Um, you might be able to read it, uh, but this is Fire Emblem of Justice and Feda. I guess is the version of Fire Emblem. See, I actually don't know um, pretty much anything about Fire Emblem games, but uh, we voted for it and it won. So we got it here. This is one of them. There's another one as well, and that one is on the way. I got it. Um, but this is one of the Fire Emblem games. So I know some of you uh, were wanting to, to see this one, and it looks pretty cool. You got like a, a wolf man with like a katana there. And then uh, some guy with a crazy looking sword. Got a couple sale stickers here. I might try to remove those at some point. Um, hopefully they don't leave like a residue. I hate when people put stickers on things that leave that icky residue. There's another one here. This game's been sold, bought and sold. Like, okay, it looks like this is from a different store than this store, first of all. Um, and yet, you'll notice that the condition of it is still great. So, I mean, this game has probably been bought and sold at least, well, let's see here. First time off the store shelf initially, did it have these stickers? Maybe, maybe not. Probably not though, because usually they were in plastic. So we'll just kind of, I'm going to assume that no, that these don't, don't count towards the first one, especially going off of the price tag on them. It's too cheap for it to be a new release. So you got one sale. Then you got this sticker here, you might say, okay, well that one's the cheaper of the two, so maybe this was the initial sale first time. Um, maybe, anyway. Um, so then that could be a second sale, this could be the third sale, and then I bought this game, so that could be the fourth sale. So this game may have been sold four times, minimum, maybe, in its lifetime, and it still looks this good. This is why, like I said, it's just, it's crazy how, how good of condition um, these things stay in. Okay, so this is a cool looking back of the box here. Wow, this game actually looks very interesting. So you've got like humans, but then you got like these wolf looking people here and here. So you got a wolf dude and a wolf girl. And she's got a massive crossbow on her back. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. It's like huge. It's pretty cool looking. SNES Mania drinking game? Drink whenever. Never thought I'd play X on stream. Oh, no, no, no. I'll be drunk all the time I play. I'll never be sober. Andy explains the game, G. Nope, I'll be dead. But between playing games that I never thought I'd play and then explaining game, G, that's death. And then what else? Andy has to wait. More than 10 minutes not playing the game, not counting breaks. Andy has to pee, not like this, the timer. Uh, no, that's, that's, you're trying to kill people with that drinking game, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're trying to kill people with that drinking game. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look inside here, this is pretty impressive. If I can just, there we go. Hmm, music kind of reminds me of, like, 
Flight of the Navigator just a little bit. Or maybe the Goonies? Just has kind of a retro-y sound. Just a little, though. Again, this is, I can't believe how many times this has been bought and sold, and then just the manual is immaculate. Like, man, this is so good. In color, thank you. Looks really nice. Man, I, I am really looking forward to checking this game out. All the screenshots and everything just look really nice. Um, this, this looks like it could be probably a slow-paced game, but one of those games where even though it's slow-paced, it's very satisfying when you make, you know, the choices that you make and you have the victories that you have and whatnot. Um, I've, I've experienced games like that before where it's just, you know, even though you take your time and things seem to move very slow, uh, the outcome of your battles and whatnot is, is quite satisfying and worth all that patience. And then there we go, Fire Emblem. Looks good. Looks real good. Excellent condition. Absolutely excellent. Damn. What a deal. Eight games, you guys. Eight games for... I think it was $35. That's crazy. That is just crazy. <laughs> that is just nuts. I, I knew I was going for that deal and waiting on it and then kind of getting it all combined there would, would be a good deal, but dang, dude. I will take that. All right. We're done. We made it. We got through it.